becoming your worst, own worst enemy. Words by uh, Coach Katie. Well, when you're your own worst enemy, you're that person who kind of finds excuses for things. And these people would wonder why, oh, that guy has so much talent. That guy is so good at running. That guy is so much faster than me. And they look at themselves and they said, well, I'm doing the best I can when in reality they're not. They're making themselves believe they're doing the best they can in the sport or anything they do. And that, my friend, is making yourself your own worst enemy. These people tend to find more excuses. And they would come up to me and they would they'd say, you have so much talent, Nicolo. You, you are lucky. You are, I'm not lucky. The reason why I do succeed in what I do is because I'm out here right now. It's raining. It's snowing. i just been done being injured and I'm starting to run again. No injuries no more. My, my knee is fine. I'm, I feel great. I feel rested. But you get days like today and I don't even have a good pair of shoes. You know, I'm cold. But you get out of here and you run. When you guys step onto the track, I want you to change your mentality. I think this will go for the, my high school boys team if they're watching this video. I know they watch my videos, but this is for you guys. You get out, you go out, you start running, you start training. The moment you step onto that track, you say, I'm going to be the ugliest mother on this track today. I'm going to make everyone look pretty. You're all going to look pretty because I did the work. I came out here. And I went running in the snow, I, read, I did 20 miles a day. For everyone else on that track, when you walk up to line, they want to make you look pretty. You say, you say, I'm going to stay ugly. <laughs> and you get onto that line and you start running and you give everything you got. You give everything you got. Whether it's in training or in the race, you give everything. And that's, that my friend is how you will become a champ. That's how you would be that figure to inspire everyone else because I was not talented when I was younger. I was slow. Ask my coach. She, I could barely do 400 repeats in a, you know, a, decent, a decent time. I would struggle with speed work. I struggled with a lot of things. And to say, to come out and have everyone else say, you have so much talent, Nicolo. You have, no, I did not. When you become your worst, own worst enemy, you make a lot of excuses and you don't succeed to your full potential. Nobody understands what their full potential is. When I mean base training, when I mean getting the miles in, I don't mean 60 miles a week, people. I know I'm a high mileage train person, but I mean well over 100. Do them on hills, do them through the snow, do anything. Because at the end of the day, the, the amount of miles you run is the amount of people you will inspire. For the end of this year, it will be another 6,000 big ones. And that's 6,000 people to inspire for the end of the year. That's 6,000 people, people, guys. And if everyone did that, I think this world would be a better world. And we will all make America great again. I thank you right here. Nicola Filipazzo, out here in the snow, on the El Coyote Local Show. Peace out, my friends. I hope you love this one. I'm out here. I don't see anybody out here. But you know what? I'm getting ready for a track now. Starting the build up. Never stop running. Always inspiring. Okay, Coyote Loco. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, uh, turned a little hard on the bottom of the foot. I don't feel the snow because uh, my feet are about as cold as ice, so a little frostbite, but makes you stronger, right? Big, hard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm stop running.